Shipping a snowman around the world without refrigeration could be a weird idea. Well, nothing is impossible. The snowman melts only if it gains heat from surroundings. If we can somehow avoid this heat gain, for example by using some ideal insulation covering, it theoretically never melts and stays in its frozen form. In fact, back in 2011, a Japanese manufacturer of vacuum insulated panels tested this idea. They successfully airshipped the snowman of around 100 kilograms to an air destination about 80 thousand kilometers away to complete a beautiful mission. I was curious to know about the maximum distance the snowman could have been shipped without refrigeration before it melts out, so I developed a simple model to predict it. For simplicity, I considered a 50 cm radius spherical snowball covered with a 2 cm thick insulation material. I assume snow rests inside at 0 degrees Celsius, and the outside environmental temperature is at 27 degrees Celsius, so the heat flow through the insulation layer at thermal equilibrium can be estimated by this equation. By knowing a typical thermal conductivity and plugging it in the heat flow equation, the heat flow through the insulation covering is estimated to be about 3 watts. If the heat passing through the insulation covering is only used to melt the snow, it would take about 308 hours to melt 10% of the snowball and about 3080 hours to melt all of it. So if we ship a snowman of similar mass using an airplane with a ground speed of 850 km per hour, the plane would theoretically travel 2.6 million kilometers before the snowman melts out. This corresponds to 65 turns around the Earth. So these rough numbers tell me that shipping a snowman covered with the vacuum insulated panels for 8,000 km was quite a safe and doable job as the Japanese manufacturer did in 2011.